So we have this tweet from my boy Man the Manic Mechanic. If you like anime news, VTuber news, or just femboys getting BTFO, go subscribe to Manic the Manic Mechanic. Link is in the description. He said it's over. It's so over for Vinland Bros. And we have this video of Hassan, you know, the same dude that was a pickup artist for a year before he decided to be a communist who paints his nails. Uh, Hassan explains why Vinland Saga is one of the best anime. Manic, tell us about this tweet. What one, one, one down? Yeah, well, I mean, it's very self-explanatory. <laughs> Hassan Piker is on the Trash Taste Podcast, which it's very self-explanatory, the name. Trash Taste Podcast does have trash taste. They shat on Evangelion, Full Metal Alchemist, and Code Geass. Wait, okay? wait, wait, wait. So, you know, whoa, whoa, whoa. They, they literally shat on, like, two of the top, like, five anime of all time? Uh, three, three of the top five anime of all one? time? Code Geass. Yeah, I don't care for that one wow but yeah so yeah they have they have trash taste but they had hassan piker on so i was like you know what this will be a funny tweet then it left its target target audience almost at like 500 likes <laughs> have you guys seen vinland saga okay i have like read a lot of it i i was caught up to it at one point in time i gotta say i do like vinland saga so i don't know okay, if that what, what loses me points uh, I've only seen season one. It was pretty good. Good. Don't watch anymore. <laughs> yeah, good. Well, I've never even heard of it. After season one, you should stop. It's like Game of Thrones. Like, stop watching after season four or five. Yeah, so... Villain Saga... So you're... Villain Saga... Um, I saw the anime first, and the first season is all about revenge and, like, war and battle. But the whole storyline is about, like, forgiveness and peace. But the first season... Is like intense action. Love the first season. The second yeah. season, the main character becomes a slave, goes onto a fucking farm, is like, I'm a pacifist. I can appreciate pacifist stories um, when I'm dead. I'm not reading a story about, this is why peace is good. I, I don't care. So, of course, Hassan, beta boy of the year, likes Vinland Saga, but as I'm remembering there's no arab or black people in vinland saga right nope so i mean i mean like i i think like there's one black dude or some shit but it's made very but it's made very clear that like he's from far away or some shit like so, that like it's only one dude I mean, maybe. that's, accept that's acceptable because vikings yeah. had like black like had moors had black guys they had arab guys in the you know on the ship really. yeah no like there's no prominent main character that's like if i remember correctly yeah but when it comes to people just because the whole viking genre first of all i'm very happy that the show vikings came out because it almost started like it was like the zombies in the early 2000s it started this whole like Viking genre for television, TV, and games, right? I'm mm -hmm. very happy about it because Chronic is not a pretty boy. Chronic has a big beard and blonde hair. So it, the Viking uh, cultural interest has been responsible for me clapping at least 50 or 60 cheeks, at least. That's good. I mean, the sexiest black girl I ever got with. Her dad was black. Half black, half Latino. I don't know what the word is for that. They got their own word for that ethnicity. The mom was half Indian, half white. And this girl was exotic. She told me, she's like, you know, like, I got all these rappers in my IG, but, like, I just wanted to get with a, with a dude that looks like a Viking. So thank you, um, dudes and, pe and females that make Viking shows. But anyhow, when a Japanese person wants to describe Germany, a la Attack on Titan... Or the Vikings in England, a la Vinland Saga. You notice that like 99 or 100% of the people are white, right? Yeah. But I've been watching the show with my father called Last Kingdom or Lost Kingdom. A show made by the BBC. And you could tell when the <laughs> Wokeness started, because it's about this guy, what's his name? Like Uhtred of, I don't know, it's Vikings, you know, Saxons. They've got some good parts of the history, like King Alfred. And his son Edward, you know, trying to unite the the kingdoms in England. But the last season, they just like went. So like the second last season, it ended with a a nine month pregnant girl killing three fully armored and armed <laughs> Anglo Saxon warriors. I was like, <laughs> I kind of looked at it, and then I looked at my dad. I was just like, it's gonna turn to shit. 
And guess what? Now they got a black priest who's like, okay, if there was a black Viking or black raider, I could believe it. But a black priest who everybody knows, I'm like, and no one like comments on him being black. I'm like, what? That, okay, I guess it's a fiction, so no one cares. And then <laughs> the last episode we saw, there's a bunch of Asian dudes walk around. <laughs> There were no fucking Asian dudes running around England because during the, you know, during the time of King Edward, the best place to live in the world was probably China. You know, they had the most tech and the cleanest cities. You didn't want to go to fucking England. But anyhow, um, Japanese people respect white culture, but white people don't respect white culture. Although probably it's the BBC. They probably got a bunch of um, non-white, um, non-binary people writing it. But yeah, Villain Saga, the second season sucks. Um, because, you know, they're trying to push a message. It's like, uh, how should I say it? It's like, you know, you don't go to a Christian rock show because it's good rock, right? Right. Hey, skill is good. But I will <laughs> say, like, people say the story's good, all this other stuff is good, but I'm just not one to really enjoy stories about forgiveness or pacifism. I just don't care. Yeah. I get you. I mean, like, I, I, uh, I was enjoying it, but, you know, obviously my opinion needs to be taken with a grain of salt. Lol. I mean, I mean, you like, you read through basically the entire manga. I feel like. Yeah. Pr- yeah. I feel like I would trust your opinion on Vinland Saga. I mean, like, like Chronic said, if he doesn't like the pacifism angle, that's perfectly fine. Like, personally, I think as a story, it still holds up. It still works. Like, there still is fighting. I'm, I'm okay. With, like, I'm, I'm okay with pacifist characters, but when the MC is the yeah. pacifist, and like you, they're trying to make you connect with him, and they spend time with him, it's like, uh, you guys see Game of Thrones? No. Good. No. Good. Um, let's see what else we got. Uh, you guys see the the new Star Wars trilogy? Yeah, I saw. Yeah, it. unfortunately, it. you don't want to watch it, right? Go I don't want. Uh, unless I'm gonna make a video dunking on it, no, I'm never gonna rewatch it. Yeah, it's the same thing for season two, Villain Saga. I, I love Vikings. I love raids. Love the whole history. It's history of my people, basically. Um, I, I don't like the story, but I'm not gonna say the story sucks. It's just not made for me. Sure exactly people yeah. like broccoli yeah. ice cream oh I okay i don't like it but yeah <laughs> i mean like I, you don't really need me to go in depth about it but the fact that hassan is saying it's one of the best anime it's just another it's reason like, for me to hate it honestly yeah. like, no now, now it's I'm just like you know maybe yeah. the story does suck <laughs> yeah. yeah now i'm just like you know what maybe i was wrong well i mean like i i still like it but yeah Ch- like Chaz, i want to i want to like see what you think of all the comments because like it did, it did definitely spark a discussion read, read about it. Read some comments for us, Manic. All right, yeah. Let me go back to the. Uh, let me go back to the uh, the post. Like, um, WTF? I literally picked my major because of Vinland Saga. I'm gonna return my degree now. Oh, yeah, that's, that's the. No. So, that's like the. Chick with your, the wait, 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 let's, let's look at this person. Their image is like a Pokemon. It's Sylveon. I think I like Gracie. Or She's some a shit? Catholic from Florida. Oh God! Now I gotta leave Florida. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh god man th- okay that shows that i've been on twitter oh, she, way wait, too she's much, got a I youtube know... channel she got a youtube channel let's see what she talks about let's make her su- cinderella is a dreamer oh my god <laughs> what else Uh-oh. we got the live action how to train your dragon is real b and puppy cat why harry potter's allegories fail tower of god is met i think i've seen this person before didn't you literally like comment under one of her things saying collab with you, you yeah, called yeah, collab me an with e-boy. the e-boy you <laughs> called, called me an e-boy, e-boy. Oh, i just <laughs> roasted the shit out of oh, ah shit actually you know what i think that tweet was a joke yeah probably I hope to god it's a joke if okay. it's not gracie yeah. i don't want you collabing with my e-boy aka uh, manic the man mechanic uh stay away from me. collab with the artist what else yeah. we got here? Uh, so she she is worse at video games than you, Chaz. I can confirm that. Nope. Nope. Christ Sinan <laughs> says the Vinland fandom is already insufferable, so this will hardly... Fa- there was like a Vinland fandom civil war after like the second episode of the second season. Even I, I watched the first two episodes, I'm like, wait, nobody's getting yeeted. This shit sucks. Like, hey, Chronic, <laughs> there is a character later on in the series that it's like... He's a dude. He's like the son of like, 
of he's the son of Thorkel, right? But he was raised by his mom, and in order to keep the son from going to war, she raised the son as a daughter. And it's like it took me out of the story so hard. It felt like out of nowhere, like oh, this trans character yeah, was in wa- there. I'm never, I'm never no, no, like I, 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 you know, like. I made a shitty video trying to talk about it, but my points were so bad, I, I like, took it down because I didn't like it. But, like, it was such a 180 out of nowhere thing, just, like, it really did feel like the creator was trying to shoehorn in something like that. And I'm just like, why? Like, like for, like, Villain Saga does a lot of stuff right, but it's moments like that just that just make me think, like, Chronic, was it a thing for moms back in the viking era to raise sons as daughters to keep them from going to war was that like a prominent thing that happened enough no their husband like honor kill them (laughs) okay like straight up like they they would like it would be like there were five and they're like time to train the sword son and the spear and the wife would be like no i don't want to go into war and the, the husband literally backhand them so hard that thor woke up from his nap yeah it's just like it just felt like such a random thing. Like, oh, I get, I get that the mom doesn't want to lose her kid, or she doesn't want the kid to go to war. But the way they go about it is like, oh, I'm raising Crip, her. this guy named Crypt says Turk explains why he understands Nordic show better than Aryans. Exactly. <laughs> I don't it, it, look, look, like they made culture a gatekeeping thing. They made ethnicity and like you know like um, history a gatekeeping thing. I'll be. F- I'll be fucking damn before I ever let some Turkish dude tell me about what the Vikings were like. I refuse. <laughs> I, I really yeah. restrain myself. I, I almost used some bad words there. Uh oh. Continue, Manic. What else are you hear? All right. Uh, there's a bunch of a lot of them are talking about how you know gatekeeping is a good thing in the comment section. That's a general trend I've been seeing. Yeah, we need Which, to gatekeep. Uh, I mean, like, it's trash shows. So I guess trash people can, like, promote it, but we need to gatekeep Danish, or Danish, I guess it's Danish. They call them Danes. <laughs> Dane culture. Aryan. <laughs> I mean, Aryan's kind of, it's very generic. It's more specific. You can talk about Danes, you know, they weren't really called Vikings then. Um, although I don't really know the time period they set the show to, but I, again, I watch the show for the violence and the fights and I watch it for historical education but yeah no we I, I, Hassan can suck a fat one he could chill in his millionaire mansion until he gets violently diversified by one of the homeless people he purports to love that's, that's maybe the that Vikings is. should raid his home right yeah if you go to Sweden they're all cuckolds now so the Vikings are gone <laughs> 